Hello students, I am Mansi and welcome to your English class for the day. Today we are going to study the poem My Mother at 66 from your English textbook Flamingo. This poem deals with the feelings of a daughter for her old mother as she returns home after visiting her. Now every mother-daughter relationship goes through three stages. First stage, when the daughter is very young and needs her mother's care and protection. The second stage comes when she is grown up but still needs her mother's care and guidance. The roles are reversed when the relationship reaches its final stage. The stage when the mother has become old and now needs to be supported by daughter. So let's study the poem My Mother at 66 by Kamla Das. Let us now understand the poet a little before we read the poem. Kamla Das was born in the year 1934 in Malabar, a coastal town in Kerala. She wrote by her pen name Madhubi Kutti. Her works are known for being beautiful sensitive, bold and tormented. Her writings are very subjective and full of personal emotions. They portray the complexities of human relationships. She died in the year 2009. Let's now read the poem. My Mother at 66 Driving from my parents' home to Cochin last Friday morning, I saw my mother beside me, doze open mouth. Her face ashen like that of a corpse, and realized with pain that she was as old as she looked. But soon put that thought away and looked out at young trees sprinting the married children spilling out of their homes. But after the airport security check, standing a few yards away, I looked again at her, when pale as a late winter's moon, and felt that old familiar ache, my childhood's fear. But all I said was, See you soon, Amma. All I did was smile, and smile and smile. Let me now explain the poem line by line. Driving from my parents' home to Cochin last Friday morning, Kamla Das had gone to her parents' home to spend time with her mother and now she is returning to her home. She is going to the Cochin airport in a car. Her mother is also with her in the car and is going to the airport to say goodbye to her daughter. I saw my mother beside me, doze, open mouth, her face ashen like that of a corpse, and realized with pain that she was as old as she looked. So while heading to the airport, the poet suddenly looks at her mother who looks really old and pale. She is falling asleep and her mouth is open, which often happens with old people. She almost looks like a corpse or dead body to the daughter, since her face has lost its natural radiance and color and looks pale and wrinkled. The poet is pained to realize that her mother has become quite aged and feels sad and broken at the thought. But soon put that thought away and looked out at young trees sprinting, the married children spilling out of their homes. Now, this line is very important. In order to distract her mind from the, th uh, from the sad thought, the poet looks out of the window to the world outside. There, she sees the young trees pass by as her car speeds towards the airport. 
she also sees many young and happy looking children rushing out of their homes now these two scenes are significant because while young trees symbolize life and growth the merry or happy looking children spilling out of their homes represent youth vitality and energy instead of distracting her thoughts both these two scenes in fact serve as a reminder of the poet's mother's old age again but after the airport security check standing a few years away i looked again at her when pale as a late winter's moon as the poet reaches the airport she soon proceeds towards the security gate while her mother waits outside once again she looks at her mother the mother's face is compared by the poet to the late winter's moon in winter the moon looks dull and faded due to being covered with mist the mother's face too is wrinkled and lacks youthful brightness and beauty also the winter's moon appears at the end of the year and symbolizes the declining state of the mother's life and felt that familiar ache my childhood's fear now familiar ache here means the pain of separation that a child goes through when he or she is separated from the mother ache means pain and familiar means something which is known for a long time childhood fear refers to the eternal fear in every child's mind the fear of losing one's mother during childhood a child's whole life consists of his or her mother and a child cannot bear the thought of separating from her mother the poet <clears throat> after a long time felt that that old fear and pain when she looked back at her mother she was possibly afraid that the next time she comes back she won't see her anymore but all i said was see you soon amma all i did was smile and smile and smile even though the poet is deeply pained and upset at the realization of her mother's growing age she hides her feelings she doesn't want her mother to know the fear that she feels so strongly and just tells her see you soon amma before leaving even though the poet promises to see her mother soon deep inside she knows how empty that promise is her mother has become very old and there is no certainty that she would see her again but she does not let her feelings known to her mother and keeps smiling at her before leaving for her destination let us now discuss the theme of the poem it deals with the special bond between a mother and a daughter old age is unavoidable but the realization of old age brings with it a lot of pain and heartbreak for the loved ones here the poet is heartbroken to realize that her mother has become old and frail she finds it extremely difficult to accept that her mother is advancing towards the last stage of her life but she tries to hide her true feelings from the mother and says a forcefully cheerful goodbye to her before leaving the poem describes the sad thoughts and emotions that come to the mind of the daughter on her way to the airport now students let us discuss some of the poetic devices used in the poem simile A simile is a figure of speech that uses comparison. In a simile, we use two specific words, like and as, to compare two unlikely things that actually have nothing in common. Take for example the sentence, "She is as brave as a lion." Here, a human being and an animal are compared using the word as. 
In the poem, we have two examples of similes. Her face ashen like that of a corpse and as a late winter's moon. Personification, that is another poetic device used in the poem. Personification is a figure of speech in which a non-living thing is invested with the quality of a living thing. We give an inanimate object some human qualities such as emotions or gestures or even speech. Example, the wind howled as the storm grew stronger. Here the wind is given the animal trait of howling. This is an example of personification. In this poem, we have an example of personification in the phrase trees sprinting. Sprinting is a human quality which is given to trees. As the poet looked outside the window, to her imagination it seemed that the trees on both sides of the road were also racing ahead along with the speeding car. Merry children spilling out of their homes. Here, the image of a happy, youthful and energetic children rushing out of their homes is in stark contrast to the sad and morbid atmosphere inside the car as it painfully reminds the poet of her old, weak and frail mother. This is an example of poetic imagery. So that's all for today, students. We will soon meet for the next chapter. Thank you.